political sponsorship of persecuted Iranian atheist Sohail Arabi. So guys, we have an exciting announcement. We are very excited to announce this. So if you are not familiar, on January 2nd, the persecuted Iranian atheist Sohel Arabi was brutally arrested by Iranian forces on the 2nd of January. And he was beaten so badly that he suffered a heart attack and he was taken to the hospital and then they took him to the greater Tehran prison. And we know that he's going to be facing trial. We just don't know for what yet. Now, this is really scary because Sohel Arabi previously faced the death. He was sentenced to death for insulting the Prophet Muhammad um, and, you know, spreading propaganda against the regime, the, 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 all those, you know, BS charges that the Islamic Republic will throw at you. And so he was caught up in this general crackdown on dissidents that we've seen over the past several months of the uprising in Iran. And one thing that has been very effective in working to protect, you know, political prisoners and prisoners of conscience in Iran is political sponsorships. And a political sponsorship is when a foreign politician kind of adopts a, polit a political prisoner. What does this mean? This means that they act as their representative abroad, someone who watches their case, someone who takes notice of their case, stays in contact and updated about what is happening to the prisoner. They write letters to address to the Iran Iranian embassy in their official position as a government official, writing letters of concern directly to Iranian officials regarding this person's um, well-being, the charges they're facing, their treatment, and also works with the media, you know, to announce that they have you know, made this political sponsorship, this adoption. And so that also is very good because it causes um, media attention is, is way more effective in helping to protect a lot of these um, political prisoners. And so super exciting. This past week, 57 members of the Social Democrat Party in the German state of uh, uh, Niedersch uh, Niedersachsen, have agreed to politically sponsor Sohail, as well as his mother, Farangis Maslum. Amazing. Fantastic. And this is really important because Farangis is the mother of Sohail, and she was fighting so hard for her son that the regime had decided that they had to imprison her as well. Guys. The regime, the Islamic Republic of Iran, arrested Sohail's mother for the crime of trying to save her son. This is the, I am, are we the baddies moments, basically. Are we the baddies? Like, honestly, uh, a woman who's trying to do political activism because her son was on death row, okay? Who was in jail on a death row. Like, hey, that is not allowed. You arrest the people. By the way, the, the regime constantly arrests the lawyers of prisoners. Do you know that? So the lawyers end up happening to have to hire lawyers. <laughs> so, so you you have somebody in jail, and the lawyer tries to defend them. And not only do they not let the lawyers defend them, they're like, "Hey, you go to jail too." <laughs> so many, so many prisoners' lawyers get arrested as well for the crime of defending their defendant too too hard like being too too good at their job <laughs> so insane insane wow like, secular sakai is constantly continuing with her, uh, her his support by the way Delarcha. thank you so much secular oh my god you gifted more memberships yes yes amazing um so the political sponsorship of sohail as well as his mother frangis is a huge success we're really excited about this and to that end, um, I am going to be writing a letter expressing thanks on behalf of the coalition that was formed of 40 organizations to the, the coalition for the political sponsorship of Sohail. I'm going to be writing a letter on behalf of the coalition um, thanking the, the, the primary politician that is sponsoring him, which you, you saw in that photo. Um, 
And uh, I would like to invite the Atheist Republic community, if you would like, I just put a link in the chat to sign the card. So what I'm gonna do is if you would like to express your thanks to so Hale's political sponsor, you can do so by following this link. And um, then I'm going to take all of the signatures that are there and then I'm going to you know put them in another document and send them off to his political sponsor because I think it would be really, really powerful for this politician to see wow. how big the community behind Sohail is, how international it is, and what the the international interest in the constituency that we represent. <laughs> Armin, you're, I love that. Oh my God, you're getting pumped. Yes, so if, um, if you would like to express your thanks for you know this political sponsorship of Sohail and his mother, Fran Geese, um, please feel free to sign it in the link that I just put in the chat. Guys, this is effective activism. This is how activism is done right. Look at this. It's just beyond just using a hashtag. You like you contact it. Remember last time Susanna had like these per perfect email templates that you just you click on and the email would just fill itself and you would just have to sign your name and send it. That's how you get these politicians to notice something because there's so many emails coming at them about the same topic. And then when they do something, now they're having cards thanking them. This is going to bring the – this is – you know, this is beyond just like getting a hashtag trending. This is how activism is the most gets the most efficient use of uh, your time and efforts when you're doing activism. Amazing work, Susanna, and the rest of the team of people who are working on this. Amazing job. Yeah, in uh, terms guys, of please, guys, please, given that Susanna and everybody else, uh, Milad and Mariam Namazi, is doing so many uh, so much great work, you guys should do your part. Okay, this is very easy. You just click on this and you just sign it, and that's it. You have done your work. Okay, and your signatures are going to mean a lot. So please go follow the link and do that. Amazing work, Susie. Yeah, in terms of this, um, this you know, action coming out of Germany, we really have to express our thanks to Mina Ahadi, who um, runs the Central uh, Council of Ex-Muslims in Germany. Um, and Milad, I know that he also had a part to play in um, helping make this political sponsorship occur. So um, really all the thanks to them. Um, and, I would also like to say that we are still doing our Canadian letter writing campaign. So I put a link to that in the chat as well, or you can just go to tinyurl.com slash SoHailRB letter campaign. And this is for Canadians to write to MPs asking them to adopt SoHail as a political sponsor. Now, just because he has- I'm a, Can I'm a Canadian and I did this already, yes. Yeah. But you might be asking, okay, why do we want to do this if he just got some political sponsors in Germany? Having political sponsors across multiple nations, just it makes things better. It adds more pressure and it's always better to have more eyes on these cases, right? Um, so that's why I we're still going to be pushing forward with the Canadian letter writing campaign. And in terms of Canada, we have a few other, you know, rods in the fire as well that we're working on. But, you know, that will be revealed in due time. So um, just to be clear, the signing the card, you don't have to be a Canadian. Writing the letters, that's that's for Canadians only. But signing the card, that is everybody can do that. As, they do that as Secular Rarity just mentioned in the live chat that I signed this card in the amount of time it took Armin and Susie to explain this whole com campaign. It is super easy and very important thing to do, right? Yeah, guys, it takes you less than a minute to do it. So it's not that big of a, much uh, commitment and work. And it's actually very important. And Mariam is saying I'm on it. And some people are saying that they will do it right after the show. So thank you. Everybody. Yeah, and feel free to, you know, tell this politician from your heart, like, why is this important to you? Um, However, the doorknob had a thing. Susanna is turning into an activist machine. <laughs> thank you. Um, so all this being said, I do unfortunately have some less great news. So Armin, before you go through that, I want to I want to say something. So we had an update on Sohail as of only a few days ago. And that is that Sohail was in the greater Tehran prison. And then we've received multiple reports and our sources have told us that he has been transferred to um, the uh, Raj, uh, Rajay Shah prison in Karaj. Um, so 
Yeah, that's an, that's an important update. The, the going reason to make as him to why is not entirely clear. That's going to make him a lot more inaccessible, especially to his, um, you know, family and supporters there. Yeah. So people are saying so. Sorry. That is an important update on his status is that he has been transferred, and the reasons why are not clear. I did read some um, reported firsthand accounts of what happened preceding his transfer, and it seems to have caused a lot of disruption in um, the cell or the ward unit that he was living in um, because they were all getting along very well. And then all of a sudden they just whisked him in this other rider off. Um, but um, one thing that we have done recently, Armin, now, now you can bring it back up, um, is we had yesterday was the International Day of Human Fraternity, which was started by the United Nations. And we use this as a coalition to have our day of action for Sohail. And, you know, I would still like to encourage people to still um, participate in this. You know, we don't have to have it stop now. So basically, we just did an online protest where you just write free Sohail or Sohail RB on a sign or on your hand and take a photo and post it and then talk about his case to help raise awareness. Um, and it was so awesome to see so many people get engaged and take photos and um, so many friends of mine and new faces. Um, it was exciting to see uh, people get involved. So yeah, Armin is scrolling through and showing a bunch of people that um, posted photos uh, recently. Oh, it's Milan. Hey, Milan. <laughs> Um, oh. Look at this. This is the poster you made. <laughs> yes. This is the poster you designed with the QR code and everything. By the way, this QR code takes you to the link that Susanna sent about in the Google Doc that tells you the three step process on what you're supposed to do. Um, but great job. Look at this. People printed it out and they put it in the street. Amazing. Okay, look at this. Look at this. Yeah. You don't have to show your face if you want to engage in this, but you think it's not safe for you. You don't have to show your face. You could always just do a photo on your hand or maybe just a photo of what you wrote in a piece of paper, you know, nothing identifying if you still want to show support in some way. Um, I just want to say that to make sure that people are being safe. Yes. Okay. Oh, look at this. Doing Wait, I want to find this one photo because there was um, a great one that Ali Rizvi did that I loved so much. Okay. But, all right. Should you read this comment first. Oh, wait. Sorry. Uh, Doorknob Head. Oh, this is so cute. Doorknob Head is saying, was it yesterday that Armin was like a proud daddy? This is what Susanna put together. The poster. Look, people are using it all over the world. Look, Susanna put in all the steps to make a difference. Oh. Oh. You guys are making me feel things. <laughs> Oh, I really appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Um, Mariam is saying quality work by our Queen Susie. Secular Rarity is saying, seriously, you all, Susanna has gone through so much effort to make this available and easy to everyone who wants to support. So get on it. Like, mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you, Secular Rarity, for saying that. Wait, here's um, one photo that I wanted to show. Um, Look at it. Ooh. There's Ali Rizvi oh, and our friend yeah. Syed. He's a great Syed. guy. If you guys don't follow um, One Free Mind Next Muslim, you definitely should. Um, and Sohail Ahmed, all our buddies. Yes. That's amazing. That's that's a great picture. Thank you so much. For, yeah, for yeah, yeah. I don't know. Stuff like this just it makes Retweet me Retweet that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I did. Yeah. yeah. Okay, great. Oh, we got a two, uh, two $2 super chat from Secular Sakai announcing that he just donated $5 to appearance of so $7 oh, in wow, total. Thank, thank you. So you. Oh, my God. Secular Sakai has just been making it rain on us today. First, it was the memberships. Now it's this. Yeah. I don't even know <laughs> what to say. Thank you. Thank you. You can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free. Too sexy to show most of it here on YouTube. We draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary, Japanese God, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art.